Hello and uh, welcome to the QNX demonstration system here at uh, CES 2011. I'm uh, Sheridan from QNX Software Systems and I'm going to take a quick run through, through, through some of the, uh, the new features that we're showing here at CES as part of the QNX Car platform. So we have an automotive demonstration system right here. Uh, we have three main displays on the system, a digital instrument cluster, a head unit, as well as a, a tablet interface to the vehicle. So here we have our digital instrument cluster showing standard analog looking gauges, but because it's digital, it can be reconfigured with different types of information. So we can move in, show navigation type information on, on the screen, and get access to uh, uh, web-based type services or information. Here we've got some Yahoo weather type information, as well as connecting to the, the main head unit to display metadata and album art for multimedia type functionality. So the advantage of a digital cluster is it's reconfigurable to put on any type of information that, that you want to have. Now after we've taken a look at the instrument cluster, what we want to take a look at now is the head unit and show some of the new features that uh, is in the QNX car head unit um, as part of the QNX car platform. So one interesting feature is under multimedia audio, we have of course the, the hard disk for the local content, but now we're also able to, to sync and show the music, the content from our, our playbook tablet. So we can go in here and access the music and select a song. So now we're actually streaming music from our playbook tablet into our head unit of our car. And then you'll also see that the metadata is also synced over to our, our digital instrument cluster as well. So some of the other features that we're, we're showing here. Is standard features such as YouTube, uh, which most people are familiar with as part of the Kinex Car application platform. So streaming in uh, live YouTube video into the into the vehicle, and then some of the internet-enabled uh, applications. We have obviously a uh, WebKit-based web browser application, so being able to display web pages, nice and smooth scrolling capability, uh, bringing in those web pages. Uh, local search tape capabilities, so going out to Google Maps and bringing in uh, information on, on uh, where you are, restaurants, coffee shops, that sort of information, and bringing down, downloading a map and displaying it onto the, the, onto the screen. So another interesting feature that we're showing here is uh, a BlackBerry traffic app. So on our BlackBerry, we have a BlackBerry traffic app, so users um, in driving around in the city uh, may have this app running. It's collecting data on uh, how the traffic conditions are, what, what roads are going fast, which ones are, are blocked off. And what we can do is we can have an application here, and this device is, uh, the, the navigation is running on the phone, and it's syncing over the data over to the, to the unit. So we can actually get turn-by-turn -turn instructions uh, being sent from our navigation app on the phone onto the head unit, or onto the head unit itself, and route us through various traffic problems that that are, are happening. Another another interesting feature is the uh, iPod Out functionality. So what we can do is we can take uh, uh, what's on display on our iPod and show that onto the head unit of the vehicle. So this is providing the user interface of the uh, of the iPod itself. And so you can see the various menus that iPod and Apple provides to you, and you can go and see what type of media uh, and, and songs are, are on the system. And play that type of music with, uh, with that system. So then one of the uh, other features that we're showing here today is uh, some further integration with our uh, BlackBerry uh, uh, tab, uh, playbook. So we have here a, um, a climate control application. So this is to control the, uh, the temperature in the vehicle, the seat warmers, various systems like that in the car. What we've done is we've taken that same application and we've actually moved it over, written that application for the BlackBerry playbook. So now we can start to have interaction between the tablet 
as well as the, the head unit in the vehicle. So here we have the same application. You can actually go and you can change settings on the tablet and it's going to update on the vehicle systems itself. You can change the seat warming values, the vent systems, temperature, and it all updates here. And similarly, you can update it on this side and it's going to update on the, on the tablet side as well. So this is just an initial proof of concept of what's possible. You can think of a lot of other ideas for integration, such as maybe going onto uh, a Google Maps type application, finding something on your tablet and saying, you know what, I want to go there. And then you can send that, push that to your uh, head unit so you can actually have your navigation take you to, uh, to that location. So anyway, that's a brief overview of some of the new features in Cunix Car that we've been showing here at CES 2011.